What's up, Rachel? Jordan and Dino here. Welcome to my new restaurant in the West Village called Carriage House. So Carriage House is an American homestyle fine dining restaurant. It's a perfect, cozy, 65 seats, big open bar. We have amazing, fun plays on classic Americana, but with modern takes. So the idea of the bread and butter candle is really twofold. One, elevate the experience of every guest that comes in, and what better way than to light butter on fire? What a cool experience. But also, I hate cold butter, and I hate when you rub that cold butter on bread, and it completely breaks the bread up. So we solved both of those problems with our bread and butter candle, which every single person is gonna get. I can't wait to show you how to make it. First up, let's get our herbs together. So we have thyme, rosemary, and then sage. So we're gonna take the thyme, take it right off that stem. All right, so we'll get that going. We're gonna put this up and then chop away. As you're cutting, you really wanna focus and make sure that everything is homogenous, all the same size, everything equal. Reason being is, as you're cutting it and as you're cooking it, you know, you don't want certain like stems and stuff to poke out. It also doesn't look good, but on top of that, you want everything distributed evenly. So it's imperative that everything gets cut the exact same size. Go. And now, time for the rosemary. And especially with rosemary, you definitely don't want to have any of those stems because it really doesn't break down. It's super woody. It's like pretty much eating tree bark, not something you want to do. So once you get a nice bundle of that piled up, you're going to press them all together like so, and then chop away. And now we're on to the sage. And get all the leaves you can all kind of oriented in the same direction, which will help with the cutting. Gonna roll that up, get it nice and tight. Then, once again, chop away. Okay. All right, so now we're gonna take the beeswax wick, and I'm gonna show you how to tie these together. Pretty simple. Uh, you wanna you know, measure it about two inches per um, wick, and we're gonna need probably like three of them. So what I'll do is actually, I'll cut one roughly six inch long piece, like so. And then we're just gonna measure it out at about two inches, one there and one there. Trying to get them, like I said, the same size. And there you go. So once you have the wick, it's pretty simple. You're just going to put all three together and then twist. This right here is gonna reinforce it, keep it strong, but also allow for ample burning time as well. There you go. All right, so now it's time to just put everything into the pot and be sure to not let the butter melt too much because if it becomes liquid, then what happens is all the like herbs and everything you chopped up will just sink to the bottom when you try to mold the candle. All right, so now we're gonna put in a little bit of our cinnamon and then of course our herbs. Rosemary, thyme, sage, zest a little bit of lemon in there. Add that nice kind of like hint of bitter, but also sweetness. And then we're gonna throw in a little bit of salt. Bam, done. And then we're just gonna mix everything together. Perfect. Now look at this, we moved it to a bowl, got everything nice and soft. Everything's distributed. You can tell all the small pieces that we put into there. All right, so now what we're gonna do is just take the butter that's been mixed and press it into the molds, like so. Super easy and delicious. So what we're gonna do now, is gonna take the wicks and just put them right up and down in the center. You wanna get them really solid because you wanna be able to puncture straight down. Then another one here, get everything nice and tight. So now what we're gonna do is let it set to ensure that it's gonna come out nice and clean and hold its shape. All right, so I'm gonna put this into the fridge and I'll swap them out in about 45 minutes. All right, well, perfectly set. Look at them, they're so pretty. Now we're gonna just take them out. Ooh, look at that, beautiful. Now, time to light it up. Voila, look at that. Perfect. So first we're gonna cut off this little end right here. Take some of that butter. Spreading nice and evenly. Oh. And now, time for a bite. Mmm. 